What's up everybody, Feder here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. Haven't been down here uh, with the Aquila in a while, so I'm really excited to get back down here to test a new filament. And for today, we have PVB by Yusu Filaments. They reached out to me saying this is a brand new filament for them, uh, and it has a really unique property uh, where it can be smoothed using isopropyl alcohol, stuff that we use to clean our bed, so we already have it. One of the best parts about it is it doesn't need any kind of enclosure. It doesn't need anything special. In fact, it prints as easy as PLA. And the fact that you don't need anything special to get the smooth finish, you can dip the item or you can spray the item and just let it dry and it should have the effect. So as soon as I heard that, obviously really intrigued, really excited got the filament started printing right away. So whenever I get a brand new filament, I always print the Benchy. Two reasons. One, I get to see if uh, the, the printer is still functioning properly for that filament. And two, I get to use it as a swatch to put it up on my shelf. And in case I need a specific color, a specific type of filament, I can pull it down from there, uh, compare it to whatever I want and use it that way. So Benchy it is. So with this, they said that it prints the same as PLA. So I printed it in my standard PLA profile just right off the SD card of the printer. I didn't even slice anything new. And it printed perfectly, except the layers were coming apart a bit. So what I did was I raised the temperature right on the printer to 225, right as the print started. And it printed a nearly flawless Benchy. Here, let me get you in here to show you. So as you can see, amazing Benchy. The stuff prints just as good as PLA. I see nothing wrong here whatsoever. It's pretty strong. It's rigid. Uh, it has uh, roughly the same weight uh, as PLA. So there's nothing, nothing too crazy. If you didn't tell me that this was anything special, I would have just thought that this is regular PLA. And that's a good thing. So let's get to the next part. So what I did was I printed another one just so I can have a direct comparison. And what I did was I, uh, I, put, I took some Tupperware, I put a piece of filament through, and I went ahead and I sprayed it down with isopropyl alcohol and I let it sit overnight. And here is the result. Let me get you in. So as you can see, we have this nice, smooth, super glossy, almost uh, soft feeling texture. And uh, it just makes it look like I sanded it and uh, sprayed it with uh, some kind of clear enamel or something along those lines. That's what it looks like um, to me. And it gives it this really nice smooth texture. Now it does, you can still see uh, the layer lines. You can see the coarse layer lines. And, and anything that was nice and fine, they disappear completely. And this is after one uh, spraying of uh, isopropyl alcohol. I can see that if you did this a bunch, three, four times, it would be completely smooth. Now keep in mind, you're gonna lose a little bit of detail here and there. All the little fine things are gonna be gone. Like for example, on the back, on this uh, on this bench, you can almost read the 3D Benchy text on the on the back. Whereas here, you definitely can't. It's, it's kind of gone. But that's a really, really fine detail and this is meant to smooth it. So on a larger item, this would definitely be really, really cool in terms of an effect. So then I got me thinking, what should I be printing? I wanted to do something quick because I feel like if I get this out to you guys, your projects are gonna just be amazing. And I want, I want you guys to share them in a place like uh, the Discord, for example, you can share your 3D prints, link in the description. But it got me thinking, I have this uh, printer, uh, the Focus Odin, uh, and it has this uh, red uh, cover, fan cover I made for it. And it looks cool, but it looks 3D printed. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna print it in this stuff and do the same thing, smooth it with um, isopropyl alcohol and see what it looks like. And here is the result for that. As you can see, you get this, you know, smoothed, super glossy texture. It almost looks like uh, plastic that would have came on a printer. Uh, stock. So if you were uh, walking by this thing, uh, you know, this really makes it look finished. And the best part is I didn't have to sand. I didn't have to spray anything. This was just a couple squirts of isopropyl alcohol, let dry, and this is the effect. I'm going to do it a couple more times uh, to this just to get it a bit smoother, and it's going to be good to go. I can see that if you sanded 
um, this down beforehand, it would be even smoother with less work. So if you're really into getting that smooth finish on a print, making it look complete, maybe some kind of stature or something that just would look nice, uh, smooth, like a, a bust, for example, uh, of a character of some sort, I can see this being really cool. And the best part, at least in my opinion, is the fact that it's isopropyl alcohol. You don't need uh, acetone like ABS. You don't need any kind of separate contraption to mist anything. You can spray it down, let it dry, and you're good to go. So definitely a really special filament, if you ask me. Yusu, if you guys are listening, great job. I know you guys have a bunch of colors already, but I think that if you can get this stuff out to the people with a ton of color options, I think this is going to be a mega hit for a lot of people. Easy to print. Uh, pretty much no downside. You don't have to finish it. You can use it just like PLA, but then you also have an option to uh, make this really cool smoothing effect. Seems like a win-win. Uh, you know, Yusu has always had a high quality filaments. These are my go-to for, for important uh, prints or, or just prints that I need uh, to come out perfectly. Um, so, so I definitely had high hopes for this stuff and easily delivered. So, like I mentioned, instead of printing more and more stuff, I'm really excited to see what you guys do with this stuff. So, uh, if you guys found this uh, useful, uh, send this link to somebody else. Maybe they will as well. I'm going to include links uh, to this filament uh, down below if you're interested in purchasing it on Amazon. It will be an affiliate link, which gives the channel a small kickback uh, at no cost to you guys. Uh, also, the Discord I mentioned will also be down there. Like-minded people, troubleshoot your printers, share your 3D prints, all sorts of uh, questions to be answered there, which is uh, you know just growing the community down there. It's really fun to watch you guys uh, communicate with each other down there. Uh, and uh, you know, highly recommend this stuff. So as always, I'll see you guys in the comments later.